Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I have been posting over the last couple of months that mail and calendar app users on Windows 10 and Windows 11 are starting to be forced uh, to change and upgrade and change over to the new Outlook for Windows. And I have found um, in the comments on this channel and even in reports doing the rounds online that the new Outlook for Windows, which basically is a PWA, it's a progressive web app. I have found that you either like the new Outlook or you don't. And I have also noticed that it's more leading to the negative with the new Outlook. It's not been met with a lot of positive review. But nonetheless, in regards to the um, changes from mail and calendar to the new Outlook, it seems now that once again Microsoft is intensifying their kind of strategy to move you over from mail and calendar uh, to the new Outlook for Windows as quick as possible. And according to a report by Windows Latest, um, Microsoft now is once again using a so-called new tactic, for want of a better word, to force migrate Windows 10 and Windows 11 users um, from the UWP mail and calendar apps over to the new Outlook for Windows. So if we just head over to a screenshot, we can see this whole process in action. So when you apparently you open the mail app, a pop-up or warning for want of a better word now informs you about changes to mail now there's quite a couple of interesting things going on here because apparently um before even choosing the option to um, click on not now so if you want to opt out um, it's quite quick and um, windows closes the mail app and automatically upgrades it to the new outlook so really according to the report you've got a second or two to click on not now and that's where the so-called new strategy of the forced migration is taking place. So you've really got to be quite quick. So um, um, this obviously is part of Microsoft's efforts to quickly move users um, on the old mail and calendar apps to the new Outlook. Um, but as mentioned, because this happens so quick and there's quite a lot going on on this little screen, this could be a little bit confusing um, for a lot of people, especially if you're not that so-called tech savvy or computer literate. Now, as mentioned, um, this is part of the forced migration and Microsoft using a couple of um, what I would co consider to be assertive tactics here. And we can see um, if you get a chance to read the warning, um, it shows you that and it says mail and calendar are becoming outlook the next time you launch mail mail or calendar you will be redirected to outlook you can switch back to mail and calendar by clicking the toggle on the top right of your screen and if we head back to the new outlook you can see once you are upgraded or changed over or migrated to the new outlook you have the option to go back and um, I can't show you that because I have uninstalled the Mail and Calendar app a long time ago from my system because I never used it. But nonetheless, um, you have the option to go back. But it just looks like, as mentioned, according to this new pop-up, that uh, Microsoft is getting very assertive now in the forced migration from Mail and Calendar to the new Outlook. And I thought this was interesting and quite assertive because you've only got a second or two to change or make that option not now. And if you don't, apparently you get upgraded to the new Outlook automatically. But um, as I mentioned and stated just now, um, you will have the option to go back by that toggle on the top right. And at this stage, if you do go back, um, the mail and calendar apps will still be available to use and download in the Microsoft Store up until the end of this year, 2024. So as I've posted previously, you've got, I think, until September of this year where um, this whole process will just become an automatic process for everyone because Microsoft, for reasons unknown, wants everybody to move to the new Outlook. But as mentioned, at this stage, it doesn't seem that the new Outlook, uh, for most of the time, is being met with a lot of positive review. But nonetheless, that's the latest I have, just keeping you guys posted. As I know, a lot of you are affected by this change moving from mail and calendar over to the new outlook and if i get any more info obviously i'll keep you posted so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one